people are talking about the coronavirus far too much. That's the end of the... Hello and welcome to the stream. Today's pre-stream chatter was me telling people there was too much news about the coronavirus and that in and of itself was news. Um, so I kind of feel stupid about that now. And continuing on the uh, stupid theme, I actually forgot to update the README stream for today. Uh, not that it would help. Uh, I am actually running a, uh, based on uh, the previous stream, I am running a program that sees whether or not asteroids uh, will eclipse stars. I actually think I want to make a couple of changes to that program uh, that I until just now forgot about. I'm awesome, aren't I? Um, so, and, I, that, and I'm going to rerun it then. Uh, and, and one thing I'm going to do when I rerun it is because we're only going to try to compare to the Minor Planet Center. Nope, sorry. We're going to try to compare to occultations.org. I'm only going to run it for a year, but that, that's, that I can do with uh, uh, command line arguments. Um, what I can't do with command line arguments that I want to do is right now I think it prints um, uh, Moon Occult Star. Yeah. Okay. Um, right now it prints every single uh, minimum. Um, which is totally unnecessary, and also not the original intent. Um, so the only thing we have to add here is, uh, let's see, separations times DPR. I think even though six degrees is a big amount, it's a lot smaller than right now, where it's literally every single time. Um, so, ooh, it changed on disk. Whoa, I did stuff to it. Oh, yeah, I did. That's always fun. So we're only going to go print this line uh, when we have, I mean, yeah, we could filter and that's what I'm doing now, but unfortunately that creates some really, really big files, which I don't want. And, it, you know, when I sort them, it gets harder as well. So we can just make this if sep times dpr c uh, as a function is less than six, then we can print this. Uh, this is the wonderful, uh, so I think this is the, f oh, okay, okay, yeah. Okay, so I think six degrees is still a lot, and that's, I do want that margin there because um, when I previously did planetary conjunctions, I decided six degrees was the, uh, for some reason I don't remember anymore, I decided six degrees was the definition of close, of conjunction. It's, it's not, by the way. Uh, conjunction means having the same, well, it has three definitions but none of them have to do with how many degrees. It's rather the closest approach or the same right ascension or something like that. Uh, and the same right ascension would be kind of interesting because, of course, uh, as planets uh, loop around the ecliptic, they get all right, d d right ascensions. So in theory, they conjunct everything, but not in a way that's useful to us. Um, so let me really quickly... Um, I'll make a note here that... Um, that I'm f on my other machine here. Um, that I need to recompile this and rerun it, uh, so it only shows you know when an asteroid is si six degrees is still a lot. We actually are looking for like negative one. We're looking for negative numbers, uh, but this will at least give us some idea of you know what, how about how close it gets on each pass to a given to a given moon or planet or star. Okay. That was actually some cleanup work that I'd forgotten to do. Um, let me see if my friend... Okay, good. I'm, I was debating someone on, on Twitch, but I think they have, uh, uh, they have uh, decided to go away for right now. They didn't admit defeat, so, you know, not going to say that. Uh, but they have decided they're going to stop arguing with me because it is kind of pointless, especially if you're wrong. Because, uh, you know, you can't win an argument. Well, you probably could win an argument if you're wrong. But anyway, we're not going to be doing that, so enough of that. So today we're going to go back into the project we talked about earlier, which was creating a semantic wiki um, from a single file, the single file of course being uh, this, very ugly. Uh, the only nice thing about this is that it, it, I have completed it over time, so it is, um, so it is, it exists and it has a lot of data, it has a lot of sort of sample data we could, we could put into it. I'm hoping later that more people will add to this, but also um, also maybe for other comics or even television shows. Uh, you know, At one point I tried to do it for Small Wonder, which is a TV show from the 70s and 80s. 
uh, and then you know Fuller House, which of course is a is a quote unquote spinoff of Full House. We could do it for a lot of things. So um, so this is just the only nice thing about this is that you know someone, namely me, has put in a lot of data that can be uh, that can be um, parsed. And of course, you do have to learn the format, but that's not, I, I think I actually described the format somewhere in this insanely long file. Um, oh, actually, I might explain it in the README. Cool, I didn't explain it there either. I explained it absolutely nowhere, so screw you if you don't know what it is. Um, we will, as we go through this, we will probably look at the format. In fact, we'll need to look at the format in order to parse it. Now, the language I'm going to use for this is Perl because that's easiest for me. But we should consider the possibility of a JavaScript, a client-side JavaScript, that just connects to a server just to get the semantic annotations uh, for a given, um, you know, day or character or event or something, or a list, uh, and then you know the JavaScript on the the client-side formats that data. So the server is very minimal and only s sends out semantic information, and uh, and the JavaScript handles the rest of it. Uh, which would be kind of cool because it also means that you could use all these lovely JavaScript um, thingamabobs, excuse me, while I adjust myself to at to death. Um, uh, you could use all these other JavaScript uh, tools and, and toolkits and, uh, you know, things like, I don't remember what they are anymore, but um, I guess, uh, guess ways to, you know, ways to uh, CSS kind of thing to make it look nice. And it would be sort of a, a very nice thing in the sense that we would have a, um, you would have a um, client, you know, people would write clients for the semantic wiki instead of, um, instead of having a fixed format that I'm giving them in HTML. The problem with that would be that we do need to, would need to run a server as opposed to just having plain HTML. Um, but I might actually create, you know, a plain HTML, ver a plain text versions of these files to sort of have a, um, in addition to HTML, so we sort of have the ability of, for people to get the raw data and do what they want with it, which is always one of my goals. So having babbled on incoherently about that, the readme says I need to run PB, BC PBS3. Um, and quite a bit of crap. Um, what's interesting here is I run the queries first uh, which is bad because obviously nothing has been done yet. Um, so this is fun. Um, so I'm not going to copy this program because I don't think that's a good idea, but I'm going to use it heavily in order to create the new program, which we dubbed BC MetaWiki Local.pl. And create HTML pages. Um, Pomodoro, but it's the first one, so we're going to skip it. Um, okay. Um, uh, a meta media wiki definition file, which I'm just, <laughs> it's pbs.txt. That's, that's, that's going to be our definition. Um, and perhaps other text, question mark, pages from uh, definition file um, and potentially upload well okay we're not gonna have to even do that um, okay so that's actually not a very it's not a very tall order there um, so I think the first thing we do in the other program the first thing we should be doing which we don't do is create anno um, so PBS create okay um, so this creates the annotation files for Faye, which is, you know what, let me put that as a to-do, but that's not really high priority. Uh, create captions of actual images for Faye. Okay. That's for my own reference, so that's not something that's going to help anybody else. So we now desperately go to, God, we're going to fuck this up so badly. Create pages. 
Okay, so the first thing we do is we copy the meta wiki, wiki pages to the page directory, which is uh, just some directory that I have. Um, okay, so that just cleans out the directory. We, we're not really concerned with that. Okay, so the problem here appears to be um, this assumes there's an existing probably SQLite 3 database. Um, so, so really, we're, we're one step behind right now. We maybe it is the first one we need to we need to figure out how to actually create these uh, run queries. No, no. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this maybe actually creates it. Um, and we are using SQLite here in this old version. I might decide to. We'll probably end up doing that here too, but I might decide to create just uh, for convenience, like a text file. Um, All right, so we do create it from scratch. So the PBS schema, um, create. So maybe create DB is like the magic we actually need. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is where we're going. Okay, so we read the. Fi so let's go ahead and make this into a subroutine. Um, Create semantic triples, and I don't know if it's going to take any arguments, but that's going to be sort of our starting point. And I think for this we're going to have it, you know, because we're not going to be focused necessarily on the. Um, um, that's what I mean. Um, we're going to have it use the the you know you have to give it a file, so it doesn't have to be the pbs.txt file all the time. Um, Okay, good. So this is a uh, so this is pretty simple here. Um, read the data and limit to the data data section because there are comments and stuff in this file, and it's nice to let people put whatever they want in the file and then you know put the data somewhere where they need it. Um, so we can, I think, copy these two without any danger. Um, I mean, we'll have to change this to F name, of course, because that's what we're reading. So, so far, not bad. So now we have, um, okay. Yeah, I think there's one problem with this file, um, with the PBS file that we're not going to, um, be able to get around. Well, actually, maybe we are. Maybe we are. Hang on. The problem is we every one of these things has a date at the left of it, and it's not clear that the date is actually the like the main object that's being referenced. Uh, but that is what's happening here. Um, I do have others, uh, very special ones though, uh, very special things that can be headers that are not dates. Um, okay, zero 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 is, is a meta meaning that's what I use for things that don't have dates at all. But let's see. There, there's some other ones like where I say continuity error or something. Um, so this is kind of a hack here that I need to fix. But okay, like multi-ref here means I'm going to reference multiple uh, dates and not have a date on the left-hand side. And there's also like dashes and commas and all sorts of good stuff. But that we can do very easily. Um, okay, so um, so I don't know if I'm going to call these. I think I'm going to call these things pages, um, because each one of these is like a page header. Although I really kind of wanted to do that. Well, let's see. Yeah, except for multi-ref, which is different. So uh, I probably should do something about that later. Um, so let's make a to-do note here. Uh, don't rely on. Uh, date info or multi-ref info in source file. So for right now, we are going to worry about it. We're going to pretend like that's normal, which it's not. So then we'll say my, we'll make it a little bit more generic and we'll say um, my 
Oh, wow. Let's see. So I, I, I actually did something nice here and didn't actually just delete stuff. So my pages equal dollar sign one. So this will be a list of all the pages. And I think at this point, uh, we do want to debug this. I don't see this is going to be an issue. I just want to sort of get make sure this program's running. Everything's cool. Um, so first, I need to chmod plus x everything, which is what Profix does. And every time I do this, I get the feeling that I could have just chmodded this one file much faster than chmodding every single file. Uh, Profix does uh, this. It's in my aliases text. Um, it basically finds all the Perl files in two separate directories and chmod plus x is them. Rehash, because this is a T-shell and you have to do that. Meta wiki. So the first thing it should tell me is you need a file. Okay, awesome. And then we can do this. Uh, text. And this should give us nothing because I haven't put debug into it. So now we should just see all the, ooh, badness has already occurred. Uh, partly because I never call this, um, I never call this subroutine. So that would be a good thing to do. Uh, if we're gonna test something, we should probably call it. Okay, so this looks like it is the data section of the uh, the file. Okay, so we're we're going to probably go a little bit further on the um, in in terms of copying this. Oh shit! Okay, <laughs> these are both serious hacks. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to skip multi refs for now, even though they're really interesting and I need to, um, um, I need to deal with them. Um, okay, whoa. Oh, shit. Okay, hang on. We have an issue. Um, we read the file. Oh. The fuck? D oh, Jesus Christ. That is the bizarrest thing ever. That dot means annotation of strings. So I basically take this, um, I'm annotating two files together. Motherfucker. Um, and I'm dealing with those two files together. And I, I know why this is, actually. Uh, there's a file called pbscl. This is such a hack. Let's get in here. Yeah. Which I'm, I'm, I don't want to rehack. I don't want to you know, continue this hack. Okay, cool. So we're actually now reading a file that is empty. Something is quite wrong, Miss Clavel. Okay, where the hell, what directory are we in here? I get the feeling this is... No, we're in the right direct. we're in that incorrect directory. So I have no idea why the hell I need to do this. Uh, apparently I don't. Um, um, okay. Okay, so actually, uh... So now we, sorry, we, I missed a very important step, which is, this is all of the pages, but now we're going to do a split by new line to look at the pages one at a time. And that will just be, for some bizarre reason, not what I have up there, but just split pages. Okay. And now, um, oh, okay. So this basically extracts the first word and gets rid of it, gets rid of it and all the spaces Okay, now now we're getting something. Um, um, so this is pretty hard coded for dates uh, because we have dashes and stuff, and usually um, page names are not going to have dashes. So I think we're going to have to. Um, um, We're going to have to rely on files that have um, date followed by uh, data or um, multi-ref 
followed by data. So, so okay, we have sort of, we've sort of, um, we sort of, uh, we sort of babbled incoherently for a while. Um, so we sort of limited the scope of this, but I still think this is, this is a powerful thing to have. And if we could create this in HTML, we hopefully can expand it a little bit. Okay, so here we go. Um, uh, so let's see. Go through each line of data. Again, I'm probably over commenting here now. Find leftmost word, uh, which is date or dates. Okay. So that is just. Okay. Um, okay. We definitely need to handle multi ref at some point, but we will ignore it for now. So I think we will ignore this section. Um, what's interesting is in the multi-ref, I don't actually exit out of the routine. I don't actually say a next in the routine. Here we will. Um, yeah, so if the date happens to be multi-ref, it's very important. We do need, definitely need to do this. Uh, but for right now, we'll say, uh, this is going to be ugly. Multi-ref for now, and we're going to say next, which should break us all the way back into this loop, should take us to the next date. Okay. Um, and we can't really ignore multi-refs. They're actually probably the most important part of, well, they're an important part of uh, this file, uh, of this process. Okay, so now what I'm doing here is I'm apparently getting rid of I'm apparently converting apostrophes and commas to their uh, to their HTML equivalents. But why am I doing that? I don't understand why. I'm, I'm sure there's a reason. But since I'm not doing that, let's go ahead and um, so here's where it gets interesting. Um, let's see. We're trying to find the innermost annotation, and this is an important concept. So let's let's take a look at it over here. So the innermost annotation for something like this, um, I'm trying to find an example where I have lots of nested, uh, and I might actually have an example that is intentionally nested. Um, See, I think I have an example here called Greek letters. And by have an example here, I mean, let's see, it might be in a subdirectory. Uh, pages, which I think is, okay, what? Okay, that's an older version of this that we're not using. Peanuts, of course, is the wonderful comic strip by, um, Charles Schultz. Uh, I could have sworn I, I could have sworn I had like a test Greek letters things like. Well, let me just do this. This is probably a bad idea. Okay. Sorry, this is a bad idea. Whoa. Okay, that's not there though. Um. Yeah. Do I really want to? It basically had intentionally nested uh, Greek letters. Let me see if I can find it, actually. Um, and it would have been probably an MW file. Again, I'm searching on another machine because, ooh, shiny. Uh, because, OK. Um, because it's going to be faster because I have a mounted file system here. And we do not appear to have that anymore. I'm still a suspicious. Ooh. Okay, shit, hang on. Um, I do have thetas in here, uh, but they're, they're not useful thetas. 
All right, give me one more second here while I keep looking. And uh, this is going to be the rabbit hole. Uh, which follows. Oh wow. Okay. Well, wherever the hell it is, it's hiding pretty well. But now I'm committed to doing this and wasting time. Even though it'd be like far, far easier to actually um, to actually to replicate it. Uh, but uh, okay. Uh, yeah, this is, I'm going right down the rabbit hole here. Yeah. Actually, let me try try using Recall Queue I don't have installed on this machine, so uh, I, I can't do anything with it. I do have it installed on my other machine, though. Um, and I'm going to look for Theta, Chi, and Sigma, which I'm pretty sure were in the Greek letter example. Um, okay, I think I know where it might be. In addition to this meta wiki, I do have a directory that is just about wikis in general. Wiki, wiki data. Oh. Um. Okay, this is way, way old. You can tell, by the way, I don't even have the correct, uh, correct require in here. Um. It might be sample data N01. So is it? That might be it, actually. No, that is actually the peanuts sample data, but that might have more. That could be an NO2. Um, it might just be called, this is a great, ah, shit. Metamedia.text. This is it. Um... Yeah, and this is an example of a deeply nested uh, double quote. So row comes before, notice that we don't end the, the rows double bracket here, sigma, which now we're getting into another level here, sigma, which precedes tau, which comes before upsilon, which comes before phi, which probably doesn't actually, by the way. Uh, this isn't necessarily accurate, which precedes omega. And that's a test of deep nesting, and we will... Um, And we will copy it to um, MetaWiki. Uh, we'll call this Greek test dot text. Okay, so now we can do Greek test dot text. Pipe it to less, and all we're going to get is a bunch of missing right square. Okay, so again, not you know if you if you don't know how to program, this doesn't really work that well. And I think I need to end the subroutine. There we go. So right now it does nothing at all. Um, Okay, Pomodoro time, I'll be back in two and two and maybe figure out how to code. Okay, and we are almost back. And we are back ish. Okay, now let's see if I can remember how to code. Obviously not. Um, so this is the one that ends 
multi-ref. This ends the for loop. This should end the uh, the function. So maybe I f that up somehow. Unmatch right line 48. So I, I maybe have an extra one then. That's what my <laughs> incredible intelligence is telling me. Okay, I think maybe I put it here with. Um, oh, yeah, this little chunky bit at the end. And it just occurred to me that you can't use Greek test uh, because it doesn't have the f same format as the pearls before swine. But the general idea here is you can nest these double brackets. Um, so this just creates a, late, a link to sigma by itself. This creates a link to... Okay, so sigma is the precedes tau. Which, so this is tau. Um, and now I get the feeling this is not how I wanted to do this. Uh, yeah, I think I've changed the format even more than that. Sorry. And you can tell by me the way I say sorry. It, it's not. Okay. So this says that um, this strip has a character named Sally. And I, I put the word human in parentheses because I kind of give it as names. Um, and Sally uh, is a... One of her aliases is Fast Sally. Okay, so here we actually do have a um, an example of nesting. So we have a so let's go ahead and go from the innermost out here. Okay, so Zebra, and if you don't know who these characters, these are all characters in Pearls Before Swine, has a cousin. Na now the problem with there's many people named Lou, so I have to add kind of an artificial date to them for right now. Um, and I just add this date has a cousin, Lou, who's a zebra. So that's what this tells us right there. That's the innermost. And this returns Lou, This returns the, the, the third thing that comes you know, after the double colon, double colon. What's actually going to show up now is this gets parsed and returns Lou 2002 uh, zebra. Then this says this strip contains the death of whatever this re return, which is, you know, basically he dies in this. And then it says, okay, so this deaths blah 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 still returns this, because uh, this is a, uh, actually a way of saying 2002 or 515 has deaths of uh, whatever this is, which is Lou. And then this whole thing resolves to Lou, character Lou. Um, now, and of course saying deaths, you know, probably means it's a character too, but, but, but you know, the idea here is, um, so the idea here actually is, okay, I think I get this now. <laughs> um, most of the time we're going to see, I mean, not most, a lot of the time we're going to see semantic triples, which means um, there'll be one thing here, double colon, like this, this will be like the uh, sort, and this will be like the, um, um, hang on. Let me find a better example here. I get the feeling I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Um, most of the time, or at least some of the time, we're going to have this sort of uh, this sort of structure. We're going to have neighbor Bob has a half brother named Phil. However, I'm cheating here, and I really need to not do that. If it only has two, uh, you know, if it only has like character. This doesn't have, you know, this only has two sections. Uh, it doesn't have two sets of double colons, just one. This is the target. This is actually saying this strip has the characters goat, rat, pig, and cupid. And the plus has a special meaning, meaning it creates multiple semantic annotations. Okay, I think I've beaten that to death. Um, so the next thing we need to do is we need to go to the innermost... Um, the innermost set of double brackets because we, we, we're going to sort of parse inwards out. Um, you know, I get the feeling that's what we're going to be doing. Um, I don't like the way I did it here. I use sort of a special character, which is the, uh, the uh, ASCII character 1, um, uh, to separate it. What the hell did I do with the rest of this? Um... Lots of crap, apparently. So I'm not really crazy about that. But, I mean, this is actually a good way. So so this right here is pretty good. No, well, not... Okay, so hang on. Um, 
Let me go ahead and copy that, but I'm not going to necessarily use it as is. So what this does, this hideousness, um, it basically goes through I and it... Jesus Christ. It's a double bracket, anything other than brackets, uh, minimally, and then N double brackets, and it replaces it with 001, which I'm not going to do here. Um, um, M. So really the right way to do this um, now I'm torn between doing this in an iterative loop and a recursive loop. Um, and the bad thing about, well actually no, this wouldn't be recursive. Um, Yeah, I did this in sort of an ugly way here. Uh, um, which works, obviously, but, but it's ugly. So what I think we're going to do here is we're going to actually... This is actually the more clever way of doing it, and I'm kind of surprised that I'm not already doing it this way. So let me quickly check something. Um... It might be that I have, you know, this is not the latest uh, meta wiki attempt that I made. Um, wait, what the hell is this? Oh, this lets me use the phase captioning to just very quickly put in uh, who, what characters they're in, and this, uh, this will add, this will fix that up for me. Clean up. Okay. Oh, BC Parse Semantic. Uh, so that might be... Ricky, oh, okay, so this is actually, apparently, uh, better. All right, let's see how I do this here. Um... Below allows for multiple dates, okay. And the only thing I'm thinking about is there should be like an I say uh, there should be like a, a SCG or something. Well, not okay. There should be a way that it calls a function to do its magic. Um, and I don't think it's that function. I think it's a function. Oh, actually, so I'm still using uh, this ugly uh, this ugly formatting here. This is just a, a cleaner way of doing it. Um, so I will use this when I when I can. Um, okay. So this, this could be a, a long venture here. So I'm pretty much going to do what I said I was going to do, which is when we see a double bracket like this, um, we're going to parse it and we're going to return something, and then we'll keep parsing until we are, um, we're basically done. Um, so we'll say, uh, call this parse triple. There's going to be a problem here almost immediately. Um, in fact, there's going to be multiple problems. And that's going to be... D we don't need to worry about case. This is going to be an expression. <laughs> and uh, keep parsing until no double brackets are left. Okay. And notice nothing in while loop. Because this the, the actual... The actual uh, replace the the constant replacement over and over again basically is the while loop. Um, I, there's probably a better way of saying that, but I don't really know how to do that. Okay, so first things first. Um, let's go ahead and create the function that we're talking about. Parse triple, uh, uh, or you know not whatever. My triple equals the list debug triple. So let's see if we're getting that far, that we're getting these uh, these triples. And right now we're not returning anything, so they should just kind of collapse into each other. Um, so that that's 
it kind of bugs me that I don't already have a function that does this. So let me quickly take a look. Look. Um, I was like, there it is, parse triple, but that's what I'm doing right now. Parse semantic. Parse multi-ref, parse state this, parse state range. Okay. All right, well, let's see what the hell this does. Um... Um... Okay. I probably should have put some sort of tag on it so I could recognize it. Um, and obviously we're not returning anything right now, so I'm not too worried about that yet. Somewhere I should have this all written up, like what this format is and what it's supposed to do. And it would be really useful for me. Okay, so each of these says, yeah, this is the ugly case where basically there's only two of them, so we, there's an assumed date ahead of this, or po potentially multiple dates. Um, the one here um, at Happy Homes Mortuary, this is like pig getting parsed into a one, because right now we're not returning anything. Um, okay. So. Um, so, let's see. Command file. Okay. Store all triples. So let's do the easiest case first, as we always should. Um, in the easiest cases, we have A, B, C, meaning A's B is C. Uh, but before we do that, I am getting annoyed, because uh, I'm pretty sure I've done this before to, to a really pretty decent, um, to a pretty decent point. Um, oh, and I decided to change my format. Do I not have this freaking documented anywhere? This should be documented much better than it is right now. So let me. The rest of these seem to be. Let, let's see if there's anything in Wiki that I. Wiki to Gramps. Oh, that was my att attempt to. Um, my attempt to create a family tree for Fuller House. Uh, Wiki data. I'm pretty sure it's just about Wiki data. Wiki data from dump. BC grab Wiki. Just parses down a Wiki. Okay. Let me let me let me quickly look to see if there's any explanatory files here. Sort minus K five N. I guess that should be R. Let's look at the biggest files here. OC rad PBS text. Um, kind of looking for a README file here. Um, aside, we have a README file, but <coughs> we're looking for something that actually tells us what the uh, the format is that we're using here. Uh, which would be really nice to know. Uh, and I might not have one. S the subdirectories here are... Uh, it's, a, it's an alias I have in another machine, but basically it just looks for all the directories. Um, OC rad is my attempt to run uh, OC rad on the various pages, uh, on the various GIFs inside of uh, Pearls Before Swine. It does not work well. Uh, and I'll probably now come up with an example that shows you that it does work well, but anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't work well. Okay. So meanwhile, I'm going to... Try to... F I guess we're going to have to document the format as we go along, which is terrible. Um... um Maybe Greek test has some documentation in it. Uh, oh, it actually does. Um, um, All right. Well, I'm s I'm very much opposed to um, to actually um, 
document, documenting as we go along. Oh yeah, the other file that might have it is pbs.txt itself. Uh, these are specific to pbs.txt. Uh, yeah, all of these are just notes about um, about the specific wiki. Uh, oh. Nope, this is still based on Go Comics website. Data, data. I think there might be something after data that, oh, shame. But these also appear to be just notes. On 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 pearls before swine. It, they do not appear to be general notes on how we're doing this. <sighs> Very frustrating. I could have sworn I had this whole thing really excited about this once and I had this all documented and how it's all magic and um, bullshit like that. Jesus Christ. Oh, hang on. Um, Okay, I guess, I guess this is, um, Jesus Christ, okay, uh, I guess this is, meh, meh. I know this is documented somewhere, it's just going to piss me off now, um, and I'm, I mean, it should be documented very clearly in this, um, The notes are actually not going to be... Yeah, these are all formats for Semantic Media Wiki, by the way. Um, which we're not using, so we're so kind of doing ourselves a disservice here. Um. <laughs> Maybe this one had the documentation in it. I mean, it's all here, but... None of it seems to be very annotated very cleanly. Um... Okay, item comments might be where I have some of this documented, and I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed. Uh, no, it's the only place it appears, and it is really a comment. Um, so is this a format? Is this a... I guess I can look for the word triple, although I think it's going to show up everywhere. Uh, oh. Okay, so there appear to be several versions of this, one of them which might have some documentation in it. But it is Pomodoro time back in two and two.
Okay, I'm going to mute this. I'm back, but I'm going to mute the stream for one second to do something highly untoward, like kill a small child. And also try to do other things at the same time. Uh, so I'm muting the stream for just a fraction of a second here. Well. And I am unmuted now. And magic. Oh, shit. I hit the wrong button. Okay. All right, we're back. Okay, the only thing I can think of is I originally was going to use a uh, double bang instead of two sets of colons. I was going to use double bang, as you can see in some of the older text. Uh, but let's go ahead and go through all of these um, briefly. Um... Um, this seems redundant. Yeah, yeah, it probably is. Um, okay. Wow. This is really long, actually. Um, come on, I need some freaking documentation here. This might actually be closer to what I'm trying to do now. Um... Okay, well, this solves what these routines do. Aha! Wait. Um, oh, okay, that's actually kind of nice here. Um, this function is called recursively. Um, uh, actually, th that's kind of weird. So this is kind of going the other way. Instead of going... Um, it goes from the outside to the inside. Okay, but this is actually pretty good stuff here. Um, return triples. Okay, this is... Okay, this is actually pretty damn good. Why the hell... This is, this is exactly what I need, actually. So where the hell am I calling this? Okay. Okay, am I still using the weird... If I'm doing this, why am I using the weird... I'm still using that hack for some reason. Um, um, I think because I'm doing recursiveness, I need to get rid of the... I need to make sure that the inner parentheses or uh, don't interfere with the outer parentheses or something. I don't really know what the hell I'm doing there. But okay, let's look at this is this is actually pretty good stuff. This is the um the parse triple. I'm hoping it's in the other one because this is really where it sort of belongs. Um the one that is the the production version right now. Parse cement ooh X colon colon no Okay. Um yeah, we definitely want to get this out of uh, BC Meta PBS. That, I think that was like the original. Um, well, we could always check, but... Okay. A much redoomed that only has a fixed number each of... Ooh. Yeah, that's not great, but okay. And this seems redundant. And so just look at this. And we do at some point need to do this as well, but that's different. Um, so I think, I'm going to copy this, but we're obvious, it's not the same, but there, there's a problem with this. Because we're not calling this recursively, we're calling it sort of inside out, which is, I don't know if that's anti-recursive, must be a name for that. Parse, <coughs> excuse me, triple source string. Um, 
And I might as well just... I want to be clever and put in today's date. Haha, <laughs> I'm so funny. Uh, and a string like with several variants. Return semantic triples. Um, add to global list of... Uh, and return a string. This function is not called recursively. This function is called inside out. Um, yeah. Um, so string will never have double bracket. Um, uh, and oh, fuck, really? Um, that could be problematic. Um, I get the feeling that at some point, list of triples and returns. This could this this is actually problematic because if we have multiple targets, uh, I think we want to uh, return a comma delimited list of them. Um, uh, so if you give me an X, I'll just return it. Um, Okay, I get the feeling that maybe I'm going to find out that the um, converting everything to um, characters that don't exist so that I don't have errors was actually a good idea. Um, but I also get the feeling that because I'm no longer writing a media wiki, I don't have to worry about putting in like uh, bracket, bracket, x, bracket, bracket. So, uh, but I do need a way to say that um Oh, okay. Got it. Return X. Eh? And I mean, what this means basically is there's a page on the wiki called X. Um But I need to be able to say that somehow. Um, well, fuck. I basically will say that when you actually print this out, you're going to print this with a link to this page. Um, so I need some way of escaping um, this. X. When I return this X, I don't want it to have brackets anymore, uh, but I do need to. Uh, God damn it. I do need to um, somehow delimit that it's going to be turned into a link. So maybe that's why I went through this whole uh, 001002 crap, is to distinguish um, URLs from... Yep, that was why. To distinguish, uh, you know, these... Um, because eventually they're going to also need to be printed as links, um, and so we need to keep the we need to keep the fact that they were in double brackets originally, but not return double brackets. So yeah, this is where I biffed it bad. Okay. Excuse me. We're still doing things a little bit differently than we did before because we're not going recursive. Um, and I really can't even add X to the list of things to link because I don't want to link necessarily every time. Uh, I guess... Uh, see, I might be creating more problems for myself than I want to now. Okay. Well, I'm stupid, so let's just see if we can... Um, 
return link x. This is going to haunt my dreams now. Uh, add triple, not return it, but we'll add it. Um, and return string link y. Uh, add triple and return string. Now I'm not happy about this. because I still need to know where to link it to, even though the, oh, actually this is okay. So this is actually okay. This is a link by itself means link to that page. Link YX means, um, did I say link y YZ? Uh, it means with two parameters, it means um, you link to Y, but you the, the link text is Z. So I think we can handle that. Um, So this format, I, oh shit, I probably do use this format. So I need to explain why this format is different. Um, uh, and then this is, by the way, the most, sort of the most common format that I'm trying to get everything into. Um, oh shit. Because when I do this, we actually still... Oh, no, we can actually just return Z here. Okay. All right, so let me see if I do this. I think this is for numerical data. Uh, I'm beginning to see why I didn't want to get back into this. Oh, I don't use that. Now give me a second here. I'm sure I do something like crocodile deaths. Oh, okay. So um, I put a number sign before them to indicate that it's a, it's a number. So this we no longer need to do. So this uh, adds triple. Um, something tells me I'm going to regret doing this. And returns link of Z. And for our British viewers, Z. For our American viewers, just say Z. It's a lot easier. OK, so what this says is um, X, Y, Z. This is the most common. Uh, is going to return link Z. Um, so that should be OK. Um, OK, currently adds to global list, which I might end up making a hash instead of returning. Uh, but it does return stuff. Um, Okay, well, that's fine. That, we'll just say that. Okay. So now I'm pretty happy. Um, there's still some uglinesses with pluses and minuses and stuff, but that's probably okay. Uh, that I get the feeling I've probably handled before. Um, uh, oh. Wait, fuck, I already did this. So why did I go from this to... St okay, so the problem is, why did I go from this to PBS3, um, which is the production... Well, according to README, that's the production version. It is. Um, does this call um, anything else? Does this call uh, the um, meta PBS? Doesn't seem to. Um... And does this, this doesn't even appear to have um, yeah I don't really know why it's why this this version seems poorer than the version that we're looking at right now um, I, I just get the feeling where this is gonna come crashing down on me at some point uh, but for right now Okay, so we want the innermost is basic. Oh shit! Okay. Um, mm -hmm. um, so it's 
there's one double colon that's going to be source. Yeah, this is just kind of... Uh, only remaining... This is the default case. Um, the, the issue here is... Why am I going through all... This seems like an insane amount of crap to go through. Um, to get what I want. I guess the only issue here is if you have multiples somewhere, we need to go... We need to loop through them. Um, And the other problem I'm having with this is, well, like, why? Why did I abandon this method? Um, why have I abandoned this method to go with the one we have now? Uh, maybe, maybe the, maybe I'll have comments that explain why. I do not have comments that explain why. Uh, let yet another. Still feel I'm not doing it right. Fix number. Okay. Watch out for double aliasing. Uh, run the queries, create pages. So the, the most important part is creating the triples, which is done by, uh, nope, those are annotations, large image links, fixed numbered characters. Um, check for you, create the database. I don't get what I'm doing here. Um, all right. This seems so much easier. Okay. Um, you know what? I think I could probably break... If I had to, I could break this up into subroutines. But right now, oh, okay, so the problem is probably going to be, uh, okay, okay, I think I see what it's going to be. We're basically going to try to, Pomodoro time, back in two and two. And we are almost back. Um, we're back. Okay. So I guess, you know, since we're mentioning that we have three different cases, we should probably do that. Um, parts is parts. Um, we'll split the triple on that. And so now we have... Now... Really, you're supposed to use this to get the size of a list instead of this. Um, I think we're going to put this over here. Just one part. Uh, return as above unless... Oh, shit, 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 shit. Uh, fuck. 
Okay. The problem is, can I ever have like a double bracket and a bunch of links? In other words, have the plus sign between them. I don't think I ever actually do that, but it's theoretically possible. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So... Yeah. So the problem is if... The, if I want to handle the case where there's plus signs. Um, uh, you know, even all in, uh, even in every case. So, parts zero. And this might be this might be bad. Um. So with part zero. Trying to return the link, but there's something. There's the source. It seems like. Um, I guess we actually need to add source. Link. I guess we call it raw link or something. Uh, X, because I don't actually see. Nope, that doesn't work either. Um. Okay. To do, what if X has plus signs in it? I don't think that case ever occurs, though. I think for this one, like the one one thing, uh, we just can return link. Oh, hang on. No, we need to add. Oh, actually, we don't need to add anything because this is a very simple case. Um. And so if there's only one part, we can return it like this. Okay. 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 All right, if it's got two parts, um, I mean, part zero is going to be the uh, the source. Oh, actually, the source is going to be the source. Okay. And the problem here is once we get past this, um, the case of one here. Uh, we we have to worry about potentially multiple sources. Although technically we have to do that even if we just have, um, see, I don't know if we have to do that when we have just one part. When we have two or more parts, we definitely have to do that because we're using the source directly. Um, so, okay. All right, all right, all right. Um, list of sources if source is a range. I think we can do that. And I think we can even do, I think we already have a, a parse date function that we were using for the other one, which actually works pretty well. Okay, there we go. Um, ooh, move this to bclib. Um, did I do that? I might have. It's not a bad idea. No. Nope didn't do that. Okay. Let's go ahead and briefly do that, actually. Um, I need a little bit more here. Returns a list of dates. The only kind of issue here is I prefer to return references because if I want to return more than one thing, it's easier. Um, uh, I think I'll leave it like this though, because I don't want to don't want to mess with it. Um, uh, turn list now. Now I kind of have to say um, um, I'm trying to find a better example of this, but I guess this is the biggest one in this example. 
and commas separate as they would in normal list. Okay. So I think I can actually chunk this into BC lib. Now the problem is, of course, if I make even one tiny little error here, um, we're screwed. Uh, so these are glob op sub parse form. I, I'm trying to get it below all the sort of end routines, uh, above the end routines. Because these are, you know, okay, this MySQL hash list, and then the end routines, because th those are sort of special. Uh, so let's take this item parse. Da, 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 da. Uh, we are going to get rid of it from here because otherwise it would be defined twice. So there we go. Magically, everything is good and happy, unless I totally broke everything. Uh, parse state list source. Uh, debug sources. Actually, we could do that. Oh, right, right. We can do that after the part zero because the part zero is not going to affect. Is not going to have a. a is not going to care about whether we have a multiple or not. Okay. So now... Now the problem here is that when I call parse triple right now, I'm not calling it with a source. I'm only ca calling it with a string, but I think I can fix that. Um, my dates. Okay, so it's dollar sign one, dollar sign dates. And if this works, by the way... Oh, hello, Milk Easter Moo! Corona gang represent hell yeah, the Corona is back in black. I don't actually know what that means. Uh, what you said means. Thank you. Sorry if I just if I left you hanging there for a second. Um, I'm very not excited about what I'm doing. So local hell. Nope. There it is. Okay, that's not good at all. Uh, Corona gang. I think gang represent. I mean, that kind of, you know, means we are members of this gang and we are representing ourselves by our presence. Um, I guess technically the coronavirus, you know, it is, it is a big gang of viruses, a very large number of viruses. Coronavirus, 40 trillion so strong per person. So now I need to figure out why this did not do what I wanted. Partly because I probably didn't do source string. Uh, and also I probably sent the things in the wrong order. But that's, those are just minor things. Um, so let's see, string. OK, so first of all, I need to call it in the, the correct order. Um, which is dates dollar sign one. There's something, I just get the feeling there's something that's big is going to hit me very, very hard here. But let's see what this does. Uh, oh, cool. Whoa. I kind of know what, I think I know what that clue is that has so many sources, and I think that's, uh, it's a book reference. Um, but let me actually debug the triple as well. See what we're getting. Well, the triple should... Oh, not a triple. God damn it. Now it's called string. Cause that's way better than calling it a triple. Actually, I probably should have stuck with the other name, but whatever. Hash null. That's not a good-looking triple. Um... Oh, the triple comes afterwards. So let's take a look what the hell this triple is. Yep. These are all the strips that you would find in the book Pearls Before Swine, BLTs Taste So Darn Good. Okay, good. And I think the second one's going to be another book, basically. So. Um. Oh, actually, that just tells you what the ISBN is, if you, if you want to get it. Um. Feel free to comment, ask me to do something else. Uh, you know, whatever. I don't care. Okay. 
okay so none of these has to deal with just a single one so this isn't a double case um, the source is has multiples that it can do that um, the okay this is okay this is actually okay so if we have one part um, the source is going to be part of it so that's okay then um, Uh, and then we can call the one element form so what if the target has multiple um, actually can I can I actually I mean in some sense I'm going to be linking to something I can't link to, I mean, I could link to multiple things, but that would be very ugly. So for right now, let's assume that the target uh, is not going to, um, let's assume the target's not going to have plus signs in it. So we, we do have multiple sources, which is fine. Um, uh, so if parts is equal to one, for a dollar sign, we're not even in a loop yet. Sources, um, Okay. Now, originally I was going to just push the triples in. Um, now, I kind of want to make it into a big hash, because I kind of want to make everything into a big hash. Um, and the other thing is you kind of want like an anti-source, too. So, you know, basically say that, um, uh, let's see. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah, we, we do need a sort of a, um, you know, if character pig is in a given strip, we also want to know that pig is a character in Given. So we want the flipped, uh, we want the flipped, um, the flipped, and a triple in there as well. Okay. Um, okay. Add. Now I'm beginning to see why I didn't do this from scratch earlier. And hash of source. Nope. Hash of y negative x source. And return shrink link y. Um, so that creates the sources. Um, I guess, okay, we'll call our, we'll, we'll, we'll call our, our main hash triples. So that's, that's actually not too bad. Um, so basically this is exactly the same thing, except it returns a slightly different string. I'm going down the freaking rabbit hole on this one. Um, that's triples x. I oh know x y. These are not these are not um, Perl variables. Uh, the source is a Perl variable. Adds triples and triples z minus y x um, okay so it, it adds it in both directions and returns link z nope it returns link y no it doesn't yeah, this does return link z okay global hash okay awesome uh, so the only one that isn't 
hideous is the case where I just want to link to a page. I get the feeling that's going to blow up on me too, but... <sighs> okay. For each source, we are going to add... Uh, and by the way, let me go ahead and declare the... Um, it's now a hash. Poof, I promote you. Okay. Ooh, brother. Okay. Um, so what am I adding here as the triple? And I got to do it differently if there's a pound sign in there, but I think... I think what I'm adding to the triples is actually going to be always Y, because that is the, the actual the actual page or the object that I'm linking to, and Z is just a, a way of saying it. So let's do this. Triples of source. Um, dollar sign parts zero, dollar sign parts one. Um, equal one. And then exactly the same thing, but flipped. Parts one, negative parts zero. Pearl should be able to handle this. Because uh, this is not a mathematical negation. I'm just adding a dash in front of it. Source equal one. Okay. So for this, we don't actually care about um, whether there's a... Uh, oh, yeah, we do. Because if there is a, p um, shit, link y comma z. Okay. Um, no, we do, because we just need the y part out of this. Okay. Uh, so I need to keep track of parts one equals substitute pipe dot string question mark well dot start to the end of it um, so we this gets rid of the anything after the pipe um, uh, let's call it link text because that's what it is Pomodoro time back in two and two maybe And we are almost back. And we're back. Okay. So, link text equals the thing we got rid of, dollar sign one. Okay, so this still works because we've now changed parts one to not have the little pipey thing in it. Um, and so now, I know I said I was going to break this out into separate subroutines, and I'm not doing it, but really. Um, if link text is non null, return link parts zero, parts one. That's what I said. Uh, link text. Um, oops. Otherwise, 
Dispersion link to parts I. One. I get the feeling this is going to go so badly. Uh, okay, so if we have this case here, both of these cases here, we've now handled that. Uh, well, I mean, I think we've handled that. Shit, did I ever push this to BC Git? Hang on. Oh, crap. Uh, I, I'm going to push it to BC Git right now. I should have done it earlier, though. Really, really bad. Um, really, really bad. Okay. It is now pushed to Git and safe. This crappy code is now safe. Okay, so now the only case we have left here is where parts one is. Well, actually, there's a reason we want to check this, and that's because uh, if if there's more than three parts, then we kind of want to report that as an error. We don't want to just assume that it's not error. It, it's error free. Normally, I would assume that it's error free, but you know, in this case, I'm making a lot of mistakes. Okay, so we're gonna add the triples. This isn't too hard actually. Triples of parts zero. Uh, right, because we don't have we don't have to worry about the source here anymore. Um, parts one. Parts two equal one, and then the negative of that, which is of course two, negative of this sucker, and zero. Now, one reason I'm trying to um, redo this instead of just editing uh, existing code, aside from the fact that it's much more fun to write new code, is because this negative thing I think I never actually did in the previous code. I never sort of uh, got the reverse relationship in there, which is going to be important because we can we can use that and we kind of we do need it. Okay, so we've added these two links. No need. To, oh fuck, fuck, fuck! I know what's wrong. Um, we need to look at um, potential plus signs in in the. But that's okay. We'll we'll deal with that in just a sec. Um, and then we're going to return link of parts two. So now if this works. Um, okay, and if it doesn't work, we're going to say source and string. Okay. So now we, 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 this is, uh, this is highly unlikely to work. Um, This is also highly unlikely to work, by the way. But I like watching things not work. Okay, that's fine. You can ignore that. Um, hmm. Okay. And so I get the feeling. The one is not supposed to be there. Oh! Okay. Yeah, you're allowed to ignore all the multi rest you want. Oh, the one is just the value. I, that, we're fine. That's fine. Okay, never mind. Um, so this is pretty ugly looking, so let's go ahead and make it a little bit uh, better looking. Um, let's go ahead and print it out a little bit. And this is actually going to be useful because we... Um, and now I'm going to do something that I really... Everyone hates me doing, which is I'm going to alphabetize the keys, which actually might be helpful. 
So in the keys of tr now, f now here's where it's ugly. Triple's I is itself a hash. But wait, there's there's less. The the whole thing is a big hash. So dollar sign J is itself a hash also. So this is a triple nested hash. And this is the the ultimate result of what we're getting. This is the these are all the semantic triples that we have. Uh, and the value will be one, so we don't need to print that. We might use other values for other things, but okay. Uh, yep, you can ignore the multi-ref. Okay, cool. So that didn't work. All uh, right, hang on. Um. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. This is going to be... Yeah, this is going to be triples of I and J. Okay. This is fun, Pearl. Let's see what this does. Okay. Um, I'm going to silently ignore the multi-rest for now. Which is now we have a nested comment that says you shouldn't ignore them, but if you are going to ignore them, you shouldn't ignore them silently. But I'm okay with that. Okay. So I is sort keys triple, sort keys triples of I, and this is probably misspelled. Now let's try this. Ooh. Uh, this is not looking good. Hmm. This is not looking good for a lot of reasons, actually. Hmm. Yeah. All right. So now we cry like little girls. Um, oh, I definitely didn't handle the plus signs correctly. Um, and for some reason the sources aren't being handled correctly either. So, pretty much a huge fuck up. Let's go over here. Mm. Okay. Oh, actually, this should say, oops, triples of i, each source, and this should be dollar sign i as well. So that's one mistake down. 500 billion to go. Okay, so that's that. That might actually help. Um, that might actually help more than I think it did. It would. Okay, so let's do this. Um, I do need to watch out for uh, double braces, which I'm using to mean link to Wikipedia. And in fact, I need to not do that. I need to not be linking to Wikipedia because I need to link internally to a, to a, a landing page. Okay, so this is, um, now one kind of problem here is that we're actually, um, a lot of the first things we're looking at are going to be very ugly. I mean, we don't necessarily want to be seeing all this stuff because, because the first few annotations are actually pretty ugly. So now... We will do something so hideous. Uh, we will t put this into, t well, I'll call it debug, because it's not really output. Um, we're going to sort it randomly. And we'll look at the randomly sorted lines. <coughs> OK. Um, Okay, so Larry's parents.
parents come for a visit. This is actually looking okay. I'm almost tempted to put this into like a secondary format. Um, well, I guess that that is what I'm doing right here, and then from here we can create the uh, the uh, the web pages. Okay. Okay, I definitely need to fix the WP stuff. So let me let's do that real quick. Um, and that I think we can fix even um, even before we create the semantic triples. I think we can fix that. Uh, just right after loading it. <coughs> um, so I need to change this basically into um, Yeah, I need to change this into a, just a regular link, but then I also need to indicate that the, the link I'm creating is to a page that is a landing page. So I think maybe I can do that as... Um, um, So what do I want this to actually be? Um, I guess we can call it a... Um, a okay. We can call it a uh, S-link for special link, and then we could use WP as the... Uh, as how what makes it special. Because I don't necessarily want to... Because the special links we're going to have to create pages for. Uh, regular links... Presumably, the pages already exist in the wiki. Although, that might not actually be true. Um, actually, we might be able to do get away with a link, guy's name, uh, and then use an extra field. Um, we certainly want, don't want the link text to be to be the the key here. Um, Okay, and we can make the link text uh, empty and then have a third field that says this is a special kind of link. And I guess I'm not going to be quite as vigorous as I said I was. I'm going to wait until we've actually got the um, wait. Uh, the data. Oh, shit. Do I? Okay, hang on. Let's see if I ever use... I don't use it outside of... If I ever use it outside of the... Um, I guess it doesn't matter because I'm not going to... I'm going to throw away that part anyway. So, special hack for only. Um, data equals substitute. Wah, wah. I think I'm only going to do it for WP. I don't think I ever use anything other than WP here. Pipe dot star question mark. This sucker, this sucker with link dollar sign one um i guess i don't need quotes here um yeah something tells me yeah let's actually do this 
we will go ahead and capture the um, but then we'll put a spec at the end of it to indicate this is not um, to indicate this is not a regular link this needs to be treated specially okay let's see what that does to everything oops uh, probably need to redo this still looking pretty damn good um, we're probably gonna have to start uh, okay uh -huh. the rat revolution will not be televised Oh, come on. oh shit. So why did this, on 2007 why didn't WP get fixed? Did I forget to say, I did forget to say globally. And in fact, I need to treat the whole thing as a single line too. One more time. Mm. No, that those should not be showing up at all. Oh, wait, what? Something is effed up. Um, the only thing I can think of is I somehow managed to put, well, this should not ever show up here. Unless I really, really effed this up and put in, like, Berkeley, and then I tried to do something clever with Berkeley. Um, even inside, oh, yeah, even inside that it should have gotten changed. Oh, but this is not the right one. Hang on. Um, okay, so... Da -da, da -da. Um, I, I don't even need to ignore a case because there, there's no cased characters in there. Alrighty, so we're going to have to do this now. Ah, we have to be ugly. this. And this time I think I'm just going to pipe it to less because I want to see what the hell's going on. Okay. Kind of bad because it includes the non-data part. Pomodoro time back in two and two. And we are almost back. And we are back. Okay. 
So now this should have gotten rid of all the uh, WP bullshit. Um, but obviously it didn't. Whoa. Okay, let's put WP. Pipe. Let's put WP space. Alright. Hang on. Alright, so let's look to see what the, uh, what the, um, what the issue was. Uh, we were getting some crap here. Uh, okay, that's fine, but where the... Oh, this is... Never mind. Okay, so where were we getting the WP bullshit? Um, actually, hang on. Okay. I think maybe I need to do something just one step before doing this. I need to print out the bad data that we are trying to get rid of. And so this is... Da -da -da -da. Now this time we're going to do T to temp debug.txt. And we're good. Okay, so... The problem here appears to be okay. So now we can we can do this, and we we we, we will pipe it to um, less, so we don't interfere with. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, with our output. Okay. And now we use the power of screen. Uh, no, we don't. Yes, we do. Okay. So I think the problem we're seeing here, yeah, okay, okay, this is one. Um, 2002.08.05, so let's do that. Let's see what gets broken. Hmm. I mean, that's perfectly valid. Uh, is there something else that breaks? No, that's the only one. So am I sending the wrong data to... Um oh, cool. I'm not sending any data to create semantic triples. Uh, oh, in fact... Oh, wow. That's really bad. Um... I'm actually changing the data, but not I'm having the file reread everything. So great semantic triples should work on some data. Uh, wait, 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 wait. We'll fix that. So this is all stuff. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um. So create semantic. Um, Triples. Um, definitely shouldn't be reading file name. At the very least, it should be reading data, which is the modified file name, and then inside of data it can look for stuff. To do pass data to create spent triples. <coughs> and parse out data section separately. So this is doing a little bit too much here in this in this function, but for right now we're just going to hack it and have it look at the data. Um, all right, so now we can go ahead and run it and hopefully imagine... Whoa, fuck, 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 fuck. God damn it. Oh yeah, we need a semicolon. Okay. Okay. Uh, um. Okay. Slight problem, of course, is we are um, we have commas inside of the uh, the headers or whatever. We could probably fix that, though. In fact, I'm not even sure we necessarily want to... Um 
Oh yeah, actually we can fix that very easily. Because that is just how we're printing it out as a as a test. Wait. Uh yeah, we can that That is a true no brainer. <coughs> okay. Okay. Let's take a look at it in alphabetical order to see if there's anything kind of weird here. Now, things like antelope deaths, these are supposed to be numbers, and I need to do something special about that. But let's see. Um, so those are ISBN numbers. Da 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 da. And I think because um, because the book and the uh, the book uh, appear so often here, I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to say f grep minus v. Actually, I'll do e grep minus v because I'm going to need it. Um, nope, f grep because it's going to be really hard to escape the, this character. Um, And already we're sort of seeing that like notes probably don't need a reversed uh, annotation because it just looks weird. Um, I don't know why I have a double link there. Okay, and the plus signs I definitely definitely do need to handle. Um, so that that I really do need to handle. And okay, all right. So we will now handle the. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and push this to Git before I forget. Okay. Vaguely interesting that everybody is sending me. Everyone sort of wants to get in on this coronavirus thing. We are fully prepared, uh, you know, Vanguard investments. Eh, well, not directly related, but just everything seems to want to do this to me. Okay, so we will now go ahead and handle um, plus signs. Um, so, let's see. Parts. Um, okay, so we could, in theory, have multiple, yeah, and that, this is where it gets kind of weird. Uh, we can definitely allow multiple sources, multiple targets. Um, I don't think there's a well-defined way of, of doing that. Let's go, ahead, let's go ahead and for multiple targets, definitely. Um... Okay, I think getting rid of the uh, the little sign after the, the pipe sign is okay. Uh, but this, we need to now say, um, okay, for I sources, that's fine. We, we have parsed the sources. And now parts zero may have pluses in it. If parts zero has pluses, uh, Okay. Um, list of parts zero can have multiples. Okay. So the part zero is what I think we're calling uh, Y up here, but that's not what we really want to call it. It's um, part zero is not the source. It is the. It's not the source object. It is objs, I guess. It's object. The source is the source. So this is actually the target. Y is, uh, yeah, fuck. Okay, so Y is actually the target. So that is parts one. Um, so the weird thing about that is we don't have a way of printing that, actually. Uh, so we're saying this has characters this, this, and this. Um, we could certainly create the, the relations uh, that we need 
Um, but how do we actually print this out then? What's our, do we do triple links? Is it like... Uh, yeah, it's not clear to me what the return value from this should be. Um, hmm. And I'm tired of thinking. It's been two hours, which is my standard time for getting tired of thinking. I stop thinking almost immediately. So I'm going to go ahead and call this stream. Um, I, I, I think I think there's there's probably a better way of doing all this. And I think that I'm being a little bit sloppy with uh, trying to put it all into like a one chunk of code, wherein I really should be, um, I should be probably looking for pluses in every single portion of the code. Uh, of the triple of the triple not just in some portions of the triple or what I might be able to do is process the data before we do any of this uh, to get um, so we don't even have to deal with this uh, this crap here in the uh, in the uh, the attempt to parse in an attempt to create the semantic triples we might want to uh, do something else entirely in other words, we want to separate out creating the semantic triples from just parsing the file so that it makes sense. Uh, and I think I that might want to do that. In other words, I might want to take, I might want to process the data so it never has any pluses in it, but do that correctly. Uh, and did I do that in the other one? I'm going to feel really stupid if I already, that's like I already did that. Um, that's not what we need. We need like a backslash plus wherever the hell that occurs. Here it is. Uh, no, it's not it either. Yeah, here we are. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay, so we don't clean it up the uh, the text here, but I think we could very easily do that in a process um, in a process data subroutine. That that fixes all this uh, this bullshit. Um, maybe. Yeah, I think I think we could. I think we could do that. Um, yeah, I think yeah. I think having a separate routine to do that would be nice. Although now it's it's kind. Of, well, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we have to basically argue that certain relations that have pluses in them should be represented as uh, multiple relations. Um, and I think we can handle that. So thank you for watching. I may or may not return later today. Goodbye for now.